Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to Nellis right now, um, which is across town, but Blake really, really, really badly needs some new um, ABU pants. Um, that's a lot of uh, empty... Yeah, that's a problem. You, you, you don't have pants here. Those look awfully long. I turned it down and it was metallic. I'm going to hell. Oh, no one Hi wants there. to order Welcome something. We're going to get started for you. Hi, can you give us just a second? Absolutely. I want a grande soy chai, please. We were at home and we forgot. Well, we didn't forget. We just didn't have coffee at home. We went through it too quick. So now we're at Starbucks getting coffee for this morning. Okay, I think we're ready. Okay. Can we get a grande soy chai and okay. then um, a grande uh, vanilla latte? No cream cup for you. Sorry, dog. Sometimes when you go to Starbucks. What? Oh, yeah. You can't really see them on here, but there was there was a lot of really loud ones yesterday. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when you go to Starbucks, they give puppy dog a little cup of cream so she can lick out of it. And it's so funny when she does because she gets like a milk mustache and it's really adorable. But anyway, I got a soy chai and Blake got a vanilla latte. We're both very exciting coffee drinkers and Blake also got a bacon and gouda breakfast sandwich and and raspberry pound cake which sounds really good too but I'm gonna not have any of that because uh. hopefully you prepared these financial statements a balance sheet and an income statement uh, for HCI in conjunction with your preparation and work on the financial practice set well guys I did not pass the test which is kind of a bummer but at the same time mm, Probably it's it's my own fault. I scheduled this test a little because with the online classes that I do You're the you're in charge of scheduling your own test. They're not scheduled for you So I scheduled this test probably a little bit earlier than I should have because I wasn't feeling super confident in the material I was learning so there was that part, but also I Didn't think about the fact that they wouldn't provide a calculator and so I couldn't do a lot of the math I'd have to write it all out and um but I couldn't even have pieces of paper and a pen, so I only could have a whiteboard, and that was fine, I guess, except for the fact that I just am really bad at math, so that's that's my own fault. Um, so next time I take it, I'll just be sure to buy like a crappy little $2 calculator. We don't have calculators in here, and I couldn't use the one on my phone because it's a phone, and I couldn't use the calculator on my computer because how the exams work from your home is that there's literally like another person on the other side of your screen that's like watching you take this test and they have this program that blocks out everything on your computer except for the test at that moment so I couldn't open up the calculator I, I didn't I don't have the start menu available to me it's just the test on the screen that kind of sucked but at the same time I just barely didn't pass like just barely because you have to get a certain score to consider it a pass um, and I just got two points under that score, and I'm like, well, crap. So, oh well, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm just not even thinking about it right now. That's how the cookie crumbles. There will be many more tests in my future. So I'm just chilling on this Friday evening, watching Gossip Girl. We have got to get an entertainment system. That is the next on our furniture to buy list. Uh, so watching Gossip Girl, I'm eating eggs with a little bit of cheese on them too. So that's another thing I messed up on. I hadn't eaten today before taking that test and that's never a good idea. So I know a lot of things that I'm gonna do differently when I have to take this test again. So, oh well. You guys haven't lived. I feel like I have like popcorn butter all over my lips, but you guys have not lived until you've had homemade popcorn like on the stove with a little bit of oil. This is like the best popcorn I've had in my entire life. And it's so good. All you need to do, actually this has like remnants of butter in it right now, but you just heat up a little bit of oil, just enough so it covers the pot. Put a little bit of popcorn in it, just enough so it, like it's on one layer in there. And a little bit goes a long way. Like I just covered the bottom part of the pan, the very bottom one layer of the pan 
So it was all covered in oil and it, it popped up the entire way. It filled this huge bowl. Um, so that is a lot of popcorn. I probably should have measured it out a little bit more, but whatever. Um, and I used, I think I used canola oil. Did I? Yeah, I used canola oil. Um, vegetable oil works. Um, peanut oil apparently is very good. You Then you can cover it. You can use a um, like an actual pot lid, or I just used tin foil, covered it, and like poked a few holes in it to let steam out. And then you heat it over high heat, but you always constantly move it around until it's all popped up, melt a little butter over it, and it is divine. I just had to tell you guys that because I'm watching Gossip Girl right now and it's getting really intense, okay? Do you only have one? I only have one, yeah. Oh. I threw everything out that wasn't lightweight and wasn't... You it threw was, it away? Well, or, I think... You just got rid of it? I don't know. I, I don't think I donated any of it. I don't think... Oh, I don't know. I could. Is it's there right. like a policy on that? Like what happens well, when you're you're done with your uniform or if somebody like gains a ton of weight and their uniforms don't fit anymore and they have to donate? Like is there like a rule when oh, it comes to donating? You can, like, you can you can donate just by like like Aaron's attic. Mm -hmm. Um I think you can do. But you can't just go to Goodwill? I mean you could, but you're you would be better off doing it at Aaron's attic because somebody who actually needs it. Right. Be able to get it from there instead of somebody who wants a uniform. I guess that makes sense. Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to Nellis right now, um, which is across town. But Blake really, really, really badly needs some new um, ABU pants because his are like they're yeah. worn on the knees and stuff, and it's like coming apart. So we need to get him some new ABU pants, which means we have to go on base to do that, which is what we're doing this morning. We were originally gonna go to the farmer's market that's in town on, um, I guess it's not something that's like in town. It's like something that happens every Saturday. But Blake didn't get home this morning until, like I'm pretty sure I picked you up at like three in the morning. It was like 3 a.m. Yep. Um, when he got home. He was working super late last night. They had to almost, stay. Almost 11 hours. Yeah. Almost 11 hours. Yes. I know. Actually I was there about 11 hours. Yeah, and usually, well, that's pretty unusual for his job. I know that a lot of other jobs have like 12 hour shifts and, but, but with, have, with the commute that he has yeah, to do, they don't like, do they that. don't like well, doing 12 hour shifts. We can technically, if like, like Something yesterday, major if there was like a job that needed to be done, yeah. they can keep, they can technically Hold you. keep us there until 12 hours. Right. But they're going to be like, Hey, are you like okay to drive? If not, like we'll find you a ride home or the contingency room. Yeah, there's there's rooms to sleep in. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Just call CE and they'll give you a room. That's awesome. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense though because they he literally has to drive like it's like a is it, it's it's not 35 minutes anymore from where we went when we where we used to live. Yeah. It was farther it, yeah. before, but it is still like a half an hour drive. Going, going usually like 75 miles an hour. On a very hour. straight very boring drive yeah it's, so um, it's it, not a, exactly a safe drive really it's not exactly a fun drive it's so they don't like to keep them longer than they really have to so he didn't get home till 3 a.m last night and so we went to bed it was it was, like it was five no it was like five i remember okay. i looked at the clock and it was like 4 52 in the morning and i was like no nope, it's time you to still sleep thought this was yeah, I did. Oh, <laughs> I still wanted to go to the farmer's market in the morning because I just really, really like farmer's markets and you can get really cool stuff and you're helping out like local farmers and everything. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> we'll check in with you guys. Actually, I didn't upload the vlog yesterday. You guys are going to be seeing this today on Saturday, but I didn't upload yesterday. I took my test and I was like, eh, I don't want to do anything today. So I didn't want to edit. I literally just plopped myself down on the couch and I watched a ton of Gossip Girl and I made some popcorn. So that was my day yesterday. It was great and it was awesome. And I worked a little bit, but that's not something fun to vlog either. So it's pretty boring yesterday. So I, I decided just to kind of like push it back a day and so I'll be uploading it today and it's Saturday, but we're doing a lot more fun things today. So that's what's going on. I wish I could have shown you guys the farmer's market. Um, That's a lot of uh, empty. Yeah, that's the problem. You, you you don't have pants here. I'll take those. <laughs> those look awfully long. Oh, I guess they go in your boots though. Doesn't so it doesn't like really matter. So we got Blake some nice new pants at the military clothing shop, and does it? Ooh, I like that. Yeah. 
And now we're obviously looking at steering wheel covers because yeah. ours is kind of shot. Uh, yeah, I know, but I guess I'm just worried that like if we get if we get a new steering wheel cover, then she's just gonna eat that one even more. Yeah, okay, so. I would like. No, why? Because dice. No. Every time I see fuzzy dice, I think it looks like a pimp car. Exactly. Okay. You got it. You got it. Ooh, good job. Good job. How's that feel? Good? Yeah, but it's not straight. <laughs> it's not straight. Hello, we've been busy today. We went to Nellis twice because when when we got those pants for Blake, they were the wrong size and they closed at 4.30, I think. Yeah. So we drove all the way back home and he tried them on because he couldn't try them on there because they don't have like a changing room or whatever. He tried them on back home, they didn't fit, so we had to bring them back and get a smaller size because he's got an itty bitty waist. And then uh, went home again and we were both exhausted and so I took a nap. You played games? Yeah, I played Battlefield for... How was that? Good. Good. And then after the nap, it was like an hour and a half Shit. nap. It, at this point it was like 6, 6.30ish. Um, uh, no, it was like <clears throat> 5.45. When they called? It was like 5.50 when he called. Oh. called. oh, okay. And then um, a couple of our friends called and was like, hey, we're going out to, um, we're going out to BJ's. We'd love it if you go. It was kind of like a going away thing because I guess he's deploying pretty soon. So yeah. we're, um, we went and had a lovely dinner and then they invited us over to their house because they got a puppy and they snuggled the puppy and it's a French Bulldog Boston Terrier mix and now I'm like, oh my god, I need this in my life. So we might get one soon. Oh, uh, whoa. I don't whoa, know. was that a little presumptuous of me? Yep. Okay, never mind. I didn't mean that. <laughs> and now we're getting something sweet at Smith's because we didn't have anything sweet there. So it's a perfect, perfect Saturday evening. It's been wonderful. I think it's gonna rain. <gasps> Look at that cloudiness. So we just woke up. What time is it? I didn't even check. I don't know what's on the agenda today, but I know that I have to end this vlog now because this is going in the vlog that was supposed to go up yesterday and then, so I'm recording it today. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I love you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we put out videos. When do we put out videos? Whenever you want. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 o'clock Pacific time is when yeah. they're supposed to go up. That's what I said. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see, we'll actually see you tomorrow because tomorrow's Monday. So, we'll see you guys it's tomorrow. It's a really short vlog. What, Mondays? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think we're going to do something fun today. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.